Hello and welcome to Duvo with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. Now, it's been a while, but we are back. Before I tell you anything about what's been going on behind the scenes, let me show you one or two things with Duvo that I've got many problems with that I will be fixing off camera. Uh, let's start off with down at Emberton High School. Here we go. Now, do you remember the front of the high school? We used to have a big old chain link fence. Well, that's just disappeared. I don't know where it's disappeared to. I can't quite work it out. I am using loading screen mod and I've got all the old DLCs enabled as well. Can't work out what's happened with that. But what bothered me even more was at the power station. I had some industrial roads that I thought were DLC industrial roads and they've completely disappeared as well. The even bigger concern with this is off camera, I've already replaced these roads, saved it come back and they've disappeared again. So off camera again, I will be uh, reattaching those roads. I might even do it on camera, we'll see how it goes. But today we're going to not actually be doing any building, but we're gonna do an intersection. Now, those of you who have seen St. Catherine's Point will, oh, you'll hate this intersection. I put this in to do something a little bit quirky, a little bit different, a little bit novel, a little bit unique. Um, and a little bit silly and uh, yeah, it's going to be replaced. We're going to replace it today with something a lot more generic and hopefully uh, a lot cleaner. So uh, we're going to have a little rebuild of that. Let's demolish everything that we've got there first of all and the cars will disappear and we'll need to flatten out the uh, terrain as well. So yes, um, let me talk a little bit about because build building an intersection here. You don't need me to explain what's going on, do you really? All right. So yes, let's give you some background. So Duvo was uh, ticking along quite nicely uh, once a week on the Friday. And uh, of course, hello, little wave to you. I'm actually, I can't, I'm waving on camera here. This is, this is, this is silly. Hello, I'm waving. Uh, to all those who are currently alive in the, uh, in the chat. Hello, all the people that are live in the chat. Uh, say hi and wave back to me. You can put waves in brackets if you like. So I know that you're waving. Where were we? Yes, sorry. Um, yes, we were we were going along quite nicely at an episode a week and then um, things got busy and then I got uh, commissioned to do some work and uh, unfortunately the uh, didn't come to anything. I'm not allowed to talk about it because I'm still under contract. So um, I, it's one of those awkward things. But I think you could probably guess uh, who I was supposed to be making videos for um, and you can speculate as to why it didn't happen. It's completely up to you, but uh, I will neither confirm, confirm nor deny anything. If you think it was Netflix, then bully for you. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there was all that. And then when I came back to Duvo, it was broken in many ways. And I had to take some time to fix it. Of course, taking time to fix it when you've got a tough old schedule like I run on with the daily what map show and uh, the monthly chart shows and the weekly Steam weekly chart show and um, just everything else I want to do. Plus real life, I, I am running right on the limit as far as time goes. So finding time to actually fix a, uh, a, ga a save game, well, I don't really have time to play it as a rule anyway. What you see, this is all the city skylines I play in a week. Not that much at all. So uh, anyway, I, uh, I just didn't have time to sit down and work out what was wrong, what was broken. And, uh, and how to fix it. And there were mod issues probably as well. Anyway, long story short, long story short, I, uh, I finally got the save up and running. Now, the next problem I've got is um, getting back into the groove because it's been so long. When you go back to something after a, a long hiatus, uh, you kind of lose where you are. You lose, the, not the inspiration, but you need to get back on the bike and get pedaling again. So I have off camera done a little bit of uh, planning of what sort of thing that I'm after, but it's just, yeah, it, it just isn't quite working for me just yet. So I figured this week, get back on the ball by doing an intersection because intersections are not the most difficult thing in the world to do. Let me try to build a, a roundabout, a perfect roundabout. Come on, Bob, you know how to build a roundabout. Oh dear, oh dear, yes. Uh, Autopilot on uh, all of my, uh, on, on all the game settings is just gone, you yeah, know. First time you go back to a game in, in forever and you just, you can't remember how you do things. And then two or three minutes later, you go, 
why was I struggling? Why was I struggling? <laughs> anyway, back on, back on with this one. Yeah, you'll notice some errors as we're going along, but I do have them corrected by the end of the episode. At least I think I have. If you spot any er errors by the end of the episode, again, do let me know at the end. But don't tell me on the way because I am fully aware, especially when the second roundabout comes along, you'll spot that one instantly. It took me a little while. So yes, uh, every everything is now pretty good with life. Uh, we're coming up towards 10,000 subscribers on the channel and I've got some plans for when uh, we hit 10,000 including yes I've, I said I'd never do it but live streaming I don't know how this is going to work exactly I want it to uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be city skylines it may be it may be a lot depends on your feedbacks definitely uh, with the new game that I've started playing Flowscape that lends itself very nicely to some live streaming It'll mean that I can, uh, it's more of a, an artsy type game, I guess. And I don't, you know, with this, you need to concentrate, don't you? Look at me, concentrating really hard here. <laughs> anyway, yes, so with Flowscape, it's something that I could do while live streaming, while chatting away with you guys in the chat boxes. I couldn't possibly do the chat box and, and the build. Look, I can't even choose the right road. What is this guy doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's... That is the plan. Now, with this particular city build, though, which won't be live streamed because, well, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Is I find in the time in the day where I'm going to get find the time to live stream. I don't know, but I I will work it somehow. But with this, I have some plans. So yeah, if it's your first time with Duvo, right? There is a backstory to this one. I, I'll keep it relatively short so as not to bore the regulars. But it's an Anglo-Franco city. Uh, based on the north coast of France uh, with an area that is basically English that has been uh, bequeathed to England after the Second World War by the French just in case Hitler and his, his, uh, his jolly mates come marching into the country again there'll be a landing post specifically where the English will already be in place and then this is all fictional of course and then of course when uh, Hitler didn't reinvade we uh, still had this colony on the north coast of France. Uh, colony is called Duvaux, and uh, here we are. Yes, this is this is the city. So this is why it's an English city build with right-hand drive, because we are in France. The actual real reason for that was when I launched the map, I forgot to switch the traffic over, and I needed an excuse. So that was my excuse. So that's why we have the right-hand drive. Uh, most of the build so far has been very English but I am going to include old French parts of town. Anything pre-1945, the plan is to have continental buildings, the work of Vigès and, and fine builds and, and the likes of those, um, possibly uh, like Los Gecko and I'm trying to think who else does French star builds. But um, yes, we'll, uh, we'll be using a lot of their assets to produce uh, the, an older looking French port area. Anything post 1945 will be English style. And uh, there might be, I, I, I really want to include some uh, of Rick 4000's uh, little village um, cottages and such. And we've got some nice countryside areas up in the hills uh, away, from, away from the flat areas. I think we could do some a nice little um, English style village or two on the map. Also got a few ideas for like industries. Uh, I've got a, a definitely got an industrial area that I'm going to produce into oil and uh, we've got a couple of ore areas as well plus of course we can do some farms that will all work quite nicely I think I'm doing a uh, merge lanes into here as well uh, you may what you know, look at the roads and go well hang on a second these a uh, little bit a little bit wrong a little bit off again this is something that I will fix later on uh, certainly I was aware that I had problems with this is the second round about going the wrong way look at that dear, dear. <laughs> that's my English brain <laughs> no no right hand traffic bonbon he'll, he'll fix it don't you worry <laughs> poor old bonbon he's losing the plot so yeah that's the uh, that is the cunning plan with it to include those kind of areas uh, in next week's show I'm hoping to start work on the harbour area moving away from Emberton. Emberton isn't finished. 
Um, this the Emberton is the area that we've been working on in the first few shows. Uh, it's not finished. I've got uh, a park area that I want to work on. There's another uh, an extension to the housing estate, more of a more of an upmarket area that is going to be done as well. And uh, then it'll extend down the uh, the narrow part of the harbour. I can't really show you right now because it's pre-recorded. But it'll extend down the narrow part of the harbour with some uh, detached houses, um, more posher style homes, uh, higher value homes. I've got some ideas for that, specifically from arms plans. So although they're not strictly English or Franco buildings, I think they would work quite well down there as being like modern um it's going for the new fashions anyway so that's uh that's what i'm going to go with that down there uh and include some like a a a little marina and that kind of thing on the the narrow part of the harbor that goes down the the outside of the island and then inside the bay that'll be where we'll have the the main commercial area of the island and that will be a lot of that will be the french assets because that'll be the uh if you you're imagining the history of Duvaux. The, uh, the, the, the harbour area would have been one of the oldest parts. And that is where the, uh, the older buildings would be. So I'm really looking forward to having a go with that. So I've got some ideas as well on how to work it in, in uh, like a historical style street layout. Um, but blending that in with the modern style as well. Because we are blending the mix of the old and the new. So all that to look forward to. How are we doing here with time? We're oh, just over halfway through the show. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Let's hear a hell yeah. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> there you go. Now he inverts the uh, roundabout. Got a little issue there with the, the street lamp. I need to uh, basically get rid of that. So I'm using network skins to uh, remove that and then put the street lamp back on that section there. Also a little bit of move it to align the terrain there as well. We've got a bit of glitching in the highways. And it's all fine tuning and making things just work as they should do, getting that slip road to merge the right way as well. This little uh, grass lined road that you see on the right hand side of the screen now, well, that will um, that will be going, but it'll be replaced with something similar in that kind of area. This is going to be a, an industrial area down here, light industry, um, it's like warehouses and uh, small manufacturing plants, that kind of thing. More of a a modern industrial area that's uh, going to be coming along here and that road there is just giving me uh, a guideline as to how far away from the highway I needed to be while building this and you give me an idea on just space and size I didn't want this roundabout to be too big I also didn't want it to be too small how we've got it I think kind of works quite well I'm just trying to work these slip roads in now to make the slip roads look just right and going up to three lanes where I want traffic turning off and that kind of thing. But yes, uh, now the centre of this roundabout just was a little, a little uh, dense, so I'm just going to put in a little, little lump. Roundabouts tend to normally have like a bump in the middle, I feel. So the ones that I've seen, and then we might do a little bit of decorating on that. It's not something that I'm going to see as a priority. Being as that is going to be an industrial area roundabout, it's kind of more likely to be left plain, and not have a lot of money spent on it. So yes, uh, that's that's how that's all coming together. Most of this is coming together now quite well. Um, yeah, what the more I've got to tell you. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got loads of plans, loads of plans for Duvo, but whether or not I can actually get them to work with, I'm not, I'm not the top level creator that you guys think I am. I just, I just have a bit of fun, a bit of laugh and spend time. Rule number one when making anything, the more time you spend on it, the better it should end up looking with any luck. So uh, I'm going to take my time with the whole thing and hopefully it'll come out roughly about right. Okay, so just uh, using the old lane collectors, collectors, connectors from Traffic Manager. Can't remember the last time I used this. This is so rare that I actually play a live game of City Skylines. That it's, it's got to be well over a year since I've got the uh, Traffic Manager out and uh, used it in, uh, in anger. And... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just good to get these connectors back in. Good fun. Yeah. Right, um, what more can I tell you? I'm get, I tell you, I'm getting a little bit dry in the throat now. I'm, try, I'm stifling a cough as I'm chatting with you. So uh, if, you're, uh, if you're hearing that in my voice, then uh, don't worry. I'm not dying. I'm just uh, 
I'm trying to do this in one take if I can because I've got a busy working day ahead of me. I'm recording at uh, a silly clock in the morning and it'd be nice to like get some stuff done before I actually go and do some work for the day because YouTube isn't paying the bills yet. But uh, of course, if you subscribe to the channel and hit like, go on, hit like button now, go and get it out of the way. Yeah, that will help. But if you really want to help, then why not consider becoming a bomb bomb buddy? Yeah, join me over on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash a bomb bomb B. And uh, yeah, we've got a nice little community growing over there uh, for just a dollar a month or, or more if you're really feeling flush. Uh, you can join in with the fun and the games. We have uh, we have Discord chats. So I've got some goodies that I send out through the post as well. Or at the very least, you just get to vote once a week on which map we're going to review on the Friday. As uh, it's, uh, it's, what can you get for a dollar these days? Not that much, can you? Especially not in the United Kingdom, because a the exchange rate and b well we use the pound sterling. So uh, yeah, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> that's what we're using for now. We'll be going to using the sticks and stones. Well, if we ever we get to Brexit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll be bartering in in pigs pigskins and uh, and lambs livers probably. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> what has life come to? What is that? What's happened with the world? I mean, not just the United Kingdom, but everywhere. It's just gone to pot, hasn't it? The whole world. Oh, those of you of an age like uh, like myself will remember. Well, I remember happier times, finer times. But when we look back at those happier, finer times, they were probably just as crap from the grown ups then, weren't they? Right, um, we are getting close to finishing here. I'm just uh, putting down a, an extra layer of plants, a different variety of plants. These ones are, are working, going to work a lot better along the edges as well. And then we've got some bushes as well, um, just to add a little bit more depth and uh, a little bit of variation of height as well. Given that we're actually in a gully there, then these small trees are just going to bring the uh, bring the height up a little bit yeah now down one one of these alleys we've got some um, there we go little shrubs cluster of shrubs there as well and I'm just going to paint a few of these down as well using move its copy feature and that should add just enough variety so that it doesn't look too one-dimensional this little area here there should be just about enough coverage to make the whole thing kind of pop a little bit look a little bit a little bit overgrown but also um, maintained, Ma overgrown but maintained, just like my chest hair. <laughs> oh, there's an image for you. I'm sorry if I've put you off your supper, then uh, then well, I'll have it for you because I'm starving. Thank you. Anyway, that's about it. Um, just a few more shrubs here and there. Uh, viewing the time, uh, we yeah we've coming down to the last couple of minutes. The last two minutes of this show, we'll have a little look at a little drive through. But not in the usual style where we normally just do a full cinematic. Uh, we'll be uh, having a little look at the finished image and then a first person view from one of the cars driving uh, through our new intersection. That new intersection there. I'm going to have to give it a name as well. It'll probably just be Emberton Intersection or something. Oh, while we're here, we'll, um, yes, let's connect up. Um, I'm sure this is the same road that we used last time that has just suddenly disappeared, miraculously disappeared. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, I'm sure this is the same one. In fact, I know it is. So anyway, yes, uh, we'll just put this one down. If this disappears again, then I will let you know and we can just start complaining to, I don't know. Who do you complain to? No clue. Anyway, there we go. Uh, so bottom right-hand corner, this is first person. Um, the vehicle isn't obviously on the road on the main screen as well. This is recorded separately, so just have to use your imagination. It's an invisible car. Wonder Woman's car. That's what we've got there. Anyway, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. And, and to everybody who watched this on the premiere and involved in the chat. Thank you very much to all of you guys. I'm going to uh, toodle off now and uh, get some water for my croaky throat. And I'll catch you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. You've been very, very welcome.